Hi guys, welcome to another uh, episode of my weight loss vlog. Uh, today we're going to be doing another weigh-in, and um, I uh, it's not going to be a very long video. I'm just going to go over uh, a couple of things that um, uh, that I've been going through here, and um, I'm just gonna go over a few things. Um, everything's been going good still as far as the uh, diet goes. And um, I still have not been able to really get the amount of exercise that I want. Um, you know, it's work's been busy and home's been busy. Um, so we still gotta work on that. Uh, and it just, do the best we can but it's been really tough um and i think uh, i think we'll see a lot better results uh, if i can just uh, get around to uh, doing some uh doing some more exercises on a more consistent basis and i've also been taking this uh these um kind of drinks uh drink mixes they're called uh NAT keto something and that's really helped with some of my uh, uh, some of my cramping and stuff I've been experiencing because I just don't think I'm getting very uh, I'm my about my diet isn't really that balanced and I'm not very good at uh, kind of keeping track of all that so I think uh, taking vitamins is gonna be a real important part of it too I need to supplement uh, to stop myself from getting tired and wore out or having cramps and uh, that's going to help me when I'm working out too so other than that I think uh, everything's been going really well um, I just wanted to highlight some things I think uh, when you're losing weight um, it's important to uh, keep everything in perspective uh, you're not going to do it overnight, and I think uh, the way that you feel is going to be much more important than the way that you see yourself physically, because that's, I think, you know, everybody's different, and for some people that they want to look good, and that's why they want to lose weight, uh, but I just, for me personally, I think, in my opinion, that's not a very good approach. I think you should really focus on just being healthy and uh, let the rest kind of fall as it may because we're always going to be our our own worst critic and it's never going to be enough you know the most insecure people i know are you know in my eyes they look perfect <laughs> some of the most uh, uh handsome or beautiful people and are the ones who are most insecure so you should really focus on just being healthy and making a difference in your decisions in your life um and at the end of the day if that makes you look a little better look a little skinnier or something you can be proud of then that's just a bonus for me personally um and i can tell a big difference you know uh, uh i can tell a big difference in the way i feel i can tell a big difference when i look at myself um, and I've never, uh, it's never really bothered me, uh, the way that I look, uh, when I'm, you know, being, being overweight most of my life. Um, but it does bother me hurting all the time. My knees hurt, my ankles hurt, my back, I got a bad back. And, uh, all that stuff has gotten a lot better since I've switched over. My joints feel better. Um... I just have some, there's some, you know, stuff that I got to figure out. Cause like I said, I'm, I'm cramping up sometimes and I, I get a little bit tired here and there, but that's really just a poorly balanced diet. And I just need to do a better job working on that and doing some supplementation with some vitamins and minerals, uh, on a supplemental basis. And I'll figure all that out, you know. It just takes some takes some research, some time. Uh, so today I'm going to do a little weigh-in. Uh, I'll show you that. And then I'm going to go ahead and walk you through a couple of things that I made 
some of them I probably already showed you but I just thought it'd be you know fun to add to the video I'll show you a couple things that I made that I'm eating and uh, just some easy snacks um, and I might even do a little bit of a slideshow of some stuff at the end so anyway it's uh, on to the way in so as you can see here we're down another 2.3 pounds so that's good and I'm just going to show you guys a couple of uh, things here these are the little cheesecakes, the no-bake cheesecakes that I make. And I mix all the stuff up, put the crust in there, then put this in here and freeze it. And once it's frozen, they just pop right out of there. You just take a knife and pop them out. And then put them in a container. This one's peanut butter I'm going to try. Put them in a container. And then I just stick them in the fridge. And then these are cheese sticks that I made. And I just set them in a container, and then when I want to reheat them, I put them in the little toaster oven. And these are real easy, and I like these. These are the, uh, they're just cute cuts of cheese that I put in the uh, oven. And then this is our chicken salad. And these are some low-carb tortilla chips that I made. Almond flour tortilla chips with some queso dip, and these were really good. Really good snack. And then I made some, uh sliced up uh, squash into little pizzas and those were really good and then one thing I did make was I made some fettuccine alfredo but it took so long to make the noodles it's so tedious that it's just not worth it to me but it did taste good and then another uh, set of cheese chips I just took the uh, cheese and cut it into pieces stuck it in the oven and it makes it into like a cracker and it works really well so that's going to be it for this one, guys, and uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you guys are enjoying this, uh, hopefully it's uh, helping some people out there, maybe. And uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, stuff like chicken, that chicken salad, that chicken salad is fantastic. It's just chicken and celery, and I put some peppers and onion, and... Um, I put some of my homemade dill pickles that I made. I chopped them up and put them in there. And then it's just mayonnaise and Dijon mustard. Real easy, real fast to make, and it keeps really good. You know, you're eating it cold, so you, it just keeps it perfect. It's, you keep a big bowl of it in the, in the refrigerator for a couple of days, and you just pick out your portions. And then uh, the tortilla chips, they weren't too bad. Uh, they weren't too hard to make, um, but they do take a little bit of time. Stuff like a lot of the stuff like that does take time. The cheese sticks they were um, they were uh, easy to make, but they're like 90% cheese, so I'm not really sure I'm a big fan of them. They taste good, but we might have to experiment with some other things there. Um, uh, the uh, the deviled eggs are still a big part of my diet. I still like my broccoli salad. Um, the chicken uh, fettuccine was that was awful. I mean, it tastes good, but it took me like two hours because I you got to roll everything out and you got to cut the noodles and you got to cook them and then you got to make your sauce. It's just not it's not viable for me. So. But it was fun to make and fun to kind of figure that stuff out uh, with the different ingredients. And uh, the the cheese chips, the I call them the low-carb Cheez-Its, but all they are is sliced cheese that, you know, slices of cheddar that I cut into fourths and I stick them in the oven uh, at 250 degrees for... Uh, like 40 minutes like 35 40 minutes and it just makes them nice and uh, crunchy and crispy and you eat them and they taste just like a cheese it to me um, no salt or nothing added to them because that cheese is already salty and uh, they taste good you know it's just cheese that you've cooked so it just makes it crunchier but it kind of tricks your your brain into thinking you're having crackers <laughs> And if you have some kind of really good dip that you like to make um, that doesn't this low carb, uh, it would be perfect for that. Uh, so I'm still waiting on my uh, still waiting on my 
low carb tortillas. Uh, so we'll test those out and give those a little bit of a review whenever those come, which will probably be another couple weeks. And um, I, uh, I've i been trying these uh, keto uh, N18 uh, drink mixes. They're really, really expensive. And I don't think they're really a viable option for a lot of people, but uh, but they seem to be working. I mean, they got caffeine in them and they got all kinds of different little, you know, vitamins and nutrients in them and they taste good. Um, but, uh, so, I mean, they're working for me. They're making me feel a lot better. They're giving me more energy. Uh, I take them before I start my fast and then I fast, you know, uh, for the rest of the day up to 16 hours. I try to every day. And so they're working really good for that, but 20 of them, 20 packs of them is $120. So you can imagine that even if you're just doing it like four, four or five times a week instead of every day, uh, you're, you're spending $120 a month on just these little drink packets. So, um, so I'm not sure, but once I get through all the pack, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have to think about it and see if we want to order some more because they are, uh, they do seem to be helping, um, but I just don't know if they're worth it or not. And I think that's about it, guys. I think that's going to be it for this one. We're six weeks in. Um, I think it's six weeks. And we're 39 pounds down, and we just got to keep it rolling. Keep it up. I'm feeling good. Um, everything's going good. We just need to up that exercise one of these days. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.